Hey, everybody, we're live. Wait, no, not yet. Not yet, we're not Ready? live. All right, everybody. Hey, we're live. Jason, we're live. What do you know? You need to talk for a second because uh, i got to take a break here to rest my voice, and I want to tweet out that we're live, everybody. Yeah, well, thank, thanks. Uh, we finally got YouTube back up and running. We apologize for the delays. Um, hopefully it's coming through loud and clear to you guys. But uh, Padua has taken control here as I'm going to try and update the scoreboard. Now, Jason, we think we're recording that, right? So we should have, we may have the entire match up, but we're not sure how that's going to work. Yeah, we recorded some of it. Uh, we, we took off the recording the last few minutes to get the, it switched over to the we'll live We'll have just part. about everything else up there. But well, just to catch up in this one, Pat was playing outstanding defense. They've jumped out to an 11-4 to lead. And we appreciate everybody's patience, and this was not how we intended this to go. Jason, we had a pregame show all set to go. Yeah, we were talking toward the pregame show and th didn't realize it was live. So that is Audrey Lyons, the freshman, serving. I'm so excited to be uh, to be live here. Block of Marson. They're going to go up in the middle this time. Matheny has to tap it over. Oh, it climbs over the tape. Pandas are going to get a chance here. Barnett finds a hole, 12 to 4. I'm all rejuvenated, Jason. I feel... Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me, I'm just trying to catch up the score here. Padua won the first set. Yeah, and we have some 23. score updates from earlier. We can give during timeouts and stuff. It's been a busy day. That is Maddie Matheny receiving there. Sets it over for Marson. She's blocked off the wall. Pritchard gets it. We're going to Mullen. She's had a monster night. Back set to Gillis. Not one of the uh, trees for Charter. Here's Barnett. Mallory McCormick gets it. We have a violation and point pad to a 13 to 4. So a big crowd on hand tonight, Padua at Padua, the Force Faithful over there. And Superfan is here. It's awesome uh, yeah, sight to see. They always they travel well, Mike, and of course the Padua students are out in full force in this one. And uh, it's a great match here. First one for 302 this year. And it does a game better than that. Right, how about that? Mackenzie subject blows one down there. And uh, off of a potential uh, defender, it almost rolls out the back, do uh, the back door, making it 14 to four in Padua. Looks uh, in fuego in this set, playing a great set of uh, volleyball here. First one, they, they got a little, uh, oh, it's an ace. Charter ducks out of the way and it falls in. An ace for Audrey Lyons. She's not playing like a freshman. No, she definitely is not playing like a freshman. She has a big, and uh, she's done everything right here for this Padua team. Another nice serve there, Mike. Another free ball, though, for Charter, giving the chance for Padua. Mullen, wow! Oh, Jason, she got on top of that one, and I think she knocked out some dental work. Yeah, she did. She, uh, what a great set there by Lyons. Set her up. And she slammed it home in the 16 to 4 lead. And they're just, uh, they got everything working here in the second set. The set has gone their way, most definitely. First set, 25 23. Penn is up 24 16. Gave up seven straight uh, points to Charter. Give, put a scare into everybody here in black and gold. Here is Marson, played nicely by the Panda. Ham gets it. Mullen back. Oh, right through the defense. Jess Mullen. Doing everything. Yeah, Mike, she has been a heck of a player so far in her career at Padua, and it's been even better so far this year. But a team effort for the Pandas tonight, just Mullen. No. And this set has been unbelievable. And, and that's what one thing, they're a strong team. Oh, call it an ace for Audrey Lyons, 18 to four, I can't I, believe it. Yeah, she's serving really well, Mike. I noticed that the other night for a freshman, she does not make many service errors. I, didn't, I hope I didn't put the announcer jinx on her. Mr. Lyons, you can get me at the end if I do, but. She just never, she just never commits a service error. She always gets it in. And that one's played. Oh, nice save there by Gillis. Somehow they got that back in. That's a great play. Subject gets this kill off the wall and out of bounds, 19 to four. And Jason, after the set, we'll, we'll bring people up to date on some of the other action today. We have a couple of finals and we have a timeout. You want to do it now or you want to break? Yeah, you got to do it now. Let's do it now. So today at Tattnall, Delaware Military Academy, a winner over Tattnall. 
over across, uh, down the street at Friends. Archmere in four sets, Jay. Four sets they needed to beat the Quakers. And St. Mark St. Elizabeth's going on as we speak. And I believe Caravel and Napa are playing tonight. Yes, I believe you're correct. It's been a, it's a, it's a Thursday night, Mike. We always say Tuesday nights and Thursday nights are always busy in volleyball. This year, it seems like Monday and Wednesdays are a little busier, or Monday and Fridays are a little bit busier than they were last year, so trying to get all these in. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been, of course, Thursday is always a busy one. We're glad to be here. Our first somewhat live stream of the uh, of the season. We were ready to go and everything, man. We had everything all set up. So Padua, ready to go. I guess when you're up 19 to four, you're ready to go. And we are ready to get back into action here, Alliance. Marson tries to tip it over, but the defense is there. That's Audrey Lyons. Mullen's gonna take this one off of one. Oh, nice one-handed save there by Matheny, bumped over by Pat over there, by the force. Pat was gonna have an opportunity. Back set to Barnett, saved again by the force. But Mullen gets it, sends it right down the middle. It's 20 to four. What a run here for the Pandas. They've done it all. Lions has been serving for a while back there, and uh, great job by uh, Padua here. 20, it should be 21 to four, I believe. I, I have a 20. A 20, 20 to four. I'm not keeping score. No, I usually keep score. I usually run about six pages of notes on a volleyball match. Tonight it's Big Fat Zero. Audrey Lyons is uh, getting herself quite a run back there. Oh, nice kill there for Charter. Gabby Shannon blows it down there. Ends this run for Padua, but they have uh, put themselves up by a healthy margin here, 20 to five. That serve is played, all well saved by Ham and bumped over by Subject. Great play as Coach Desab went running to get out of the way. Shannon is blocked by Subject. They're gonna go outside this time. Marson, oh, dug nicely by Ham, but it's off a rafter and comes straight down. They can't do it. Katie Ham, what a heck of a play by her. Charter not throwing in the towel. They trail by 20 to six, but that serve is long. And the uh, service error is not as much of a problem here in the second, but they only have six points. So they haven't had haven't had many serves. So probably not what Charter wants to see, Jess Mullen on the back. Well, they want to see her on the back line, but she's serving and she's pretty good. Look at that bullet, just clears the tape. And look out, it's coming right at us. Oh, what a dive by Mullen, and it falls in. Mullen's dig, a top play candidate. Yes. As that falls in, into the donut hole, 22 to six, Jess Mullen, unbelievable. Yeah, she's, like we said, uh, now that we're back up and live, you've seen it, but she was, she's been, good all night along with the rest of the Panda team. She's so pumped up, she hit that one about two feet long, but we'll give her a pass. 22 to seven after that dig that happened to just fall right in. I may have to watch that when I get home. Here is Mallory McCormick, the libero tonight. Gets the other libero, Pritchard, into the middle, subject taps it, but can't get it to go. And that is a point for Charter. Corinna Bialecki. Have not called her name before tonight, except when I messed it up with Padua. 22 to eight, they got some work to do to get back into this one. You can only get them one point at a time though. McCormick to Pritchard again. Alliance is gonna set. Palape can't get it to go. Overpass, not successful. Palape again, can't get that one to fall. We're gonna go to Charter, set up the middle, and that is in. The linesman blocked my view, so I'm not sure who got the point on that one. But it's 23 to eight, and your server is Mackenzie's subject. 
She taps it over. A little Charter with a little trouble with that one. Bialecki plays it. Push. We haven't seen that all night. A push kill. Charter's wise to that. Bialecki through the hole. Gets it through the wall of Barnett and Kaziki. And it's 23 9. We saw this at the end of the first set. Charter fighting back. And uh, here they're down a lot, but I think they want to try and send a message to, you know, to the third set. So Bialecki back to serve. Didn't play in the first set. She's gotten some crunch time minutes here. And we have a stoppage of play briefly. I think we're checking the lineup. Padua leads one set to nil. <coughs> Excuse me, and then they're up 23-9 in set number two. And I think we have, I don't know what we have. Who knows? They're just checking the lineup. Jason, what do we have coming up this weekend on 302? Uh, we got a busy weekend tomorrow to 1290-302 Fox Sports Game of the Week. Down there at Caravel, Sussex Central, Golden Knights come up. Please. On 302 Sports, our downstate crew will be taking care of friends at Woodbridge. Oh, That's nice serve there. Did you need to cut you off. Yeah, well, that's uh, Benny Mitchell. That's wide. Point uh, charter. That's right, like Benny Mitchell and uh, Glenn Frazier. Is it not Glenn? I, I don't know who Benny's with. Yeah, I, don't, I apologize, uh, Benny. Friends, friends going downstate to Woodbridge. That should be a, uh, a tough one. By luck, he's still serving. And we'll mention our Saturday night game in a second here. Bialecki blows that one just a little too far. Set point. Jason, Saturday night we have who? We have Delmar Wildcats. The state champs. Coming up to visit the surprising 2-0 St. Elizabeth's Vikings who are now ranked 10th in our 302 Sports Top 10 poll in Division 2. And uh, like, you said, uh, like I said, off to a 2-0 start. Coach uh, Dooley's got them playing well. Cassie McClintock trying to wrap this one up. It's 24-10. So they have a multitude of set points here. But uh, I think Coach uh, DeSab would want to get it done sooner than later. Matheny. You can't keep her down. She blows no. that one through the wall. Definitely not. 24-11. Jason, on that, that game, one. the Delmar game, is Benny Mitchell? Benny Mitchall and a bunch of us from a bunch State. of us. We'll all be yeah. there, won't we? Well, a big crew for that game. So tune in. Uh, Saturday night should be a, a great game. Great atmosphere. That is long, and that's going to do it. 25 to 11. Padua wins. Take set number two. We're going to take a break, Eight. and we'll be back in uh, a few seconds here on 302sports.com. Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 1979 with one focus, wowing our customers with great products and even greater customer service. 30 years later, we are still doing exactly that. Whether you're looking for marketing tools to promote your business, gifts for your employees or clients, or planning a special event, we're here with the voice of experience to help you every step of the way for your complete satisfaction. Visit our new showroom in the Mill Creek Shopping Center, 4577 Kirkwood Highway. Unique Image, you envision, we create. As a military wife, I love helping our airmen and their families with financial tools to help provide financial stability. I promise to make a positive difference in your financial life, from helping you to lower your payments to discovering ways to help you save for your children's future. From the needs of college students and first-time auto buyers, I promise to identify and take ownership of your needs. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Solo Concepts is an award-winning restaurant group on the culinary coast with 10 locations. We're a chef-driven group. Come check us out. See you soon. Solo Concepts believes in the vision of our founder, Matt Haley. Cook beautiful, simple food, develop the people we work with, and make the world a better place. Solo Concepts on the culinary coast with 10 locations. From Lois, Delaware to Fenwick Island, come check us out. at the Hadley Group, RE.com. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think the Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. 
The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions. Contact Brian today. Mr. Italian began his career in home finance in 2002 as a mortgage consultant. Since 2002, Brian has helped over 1,000 home buyers achieve their dreams of owning a home. Brian's knowledge of current market conditions and his detailed evaluation of buyers' finances ensures that each buyer will receive the best mortgage to fit their needs. Brian is often commended on how efficient and effortless he makes the mortgage process for everyone from first-time home buyers to investors to experienced buyers. For the loan that fits you, contact Brian today. And we're back at Padua for set number three. Jason, Pandas lead to 2-0, and they looked uh, pretty convincing in that second set. Yeah, they were they were on point in that second set, Mike, and uh, what a great set for them. And uh, it, was, it was a total team effort in that second set, but we saw some powerful kills by Jess Mullen, some great serving by the freshman Audrey Lyons, and uh, just all overall great play for the Pat Padua Pandas in the second set. But... I've seen Charter play before, and uh, they're coming here in the third set. Jason, we mentioned in our pregame show that never made it on. Uh, 1,000 career digs for Morgan Mendick from Red Lions. Yes. Morgan, we didn't forget you. We did not forget you, We Morgan. love you, Morgan, and yep. we're glad you had your 1,000th dig. Congratulations, buddy. We'll see you. I know we're going to see you this year. Uh, even if, if we'll see you either on 302 or we're just going to go watch you play because we like Red Lion. We're ready to get started here with set number three. And that's a kill for the Pandas. Not sure who got it. It may have been Kozicki. I thought it was Kozicki, Mike, number 21. Oh, well. Can't change it right now. Here's Matheny. She's blocked. Paddle off to the... 2 nothing start. Yeah, and uh, like I said, Mike, the paddle was trying to close it out here. And getting off to a good start here in Katie, set number three. Yeah, Katie Ham on the ser uh, serve on. Makes a nice dig. Ham gets up to play that one. It's a free ball, but what a heck of a play by Katie Ham. Matheny taps. Can't get it by McClintock. And a crush there by Mullen, dug by Gillis. Matheny's going to try this one into the corner and will not go. Pushed over by Padua. And into the middle, but three pandas go down. They save it, and they get it off the ground, not pancaked. That was not saved. Give it to the pandas. It's 3-0. Yeah, here you go, Mike. They're coming on strong here in this Third set, trying to close it out in three sets. Must be D-Sabs and Rainbow's gold pants. There's a service error. Makes it three to one. Hey, they wore those pants the other night when they upset second rank St. Mark's as uh, Paddle was looking for another perfect week and possibly move up. But I don't think you want the number two ranking in 302 Sports. Yeah, it's, it's been a third been dead zone, huh? <laughs> third straight week that a, the second rank team in the state has lost. I believe that uh, Wilmington Charter once held that spot, did they not? Wilmington Charter held it last week, and Tower Hill the first week. And St. Mark's. And then St. Mark's had it. That bump goes over the net, but Matheny plays the overpass, stuffs it straight down. She's 6-1. She can do that. Charter back in action on Tuesday. They travel to First State Military Academy. Oh, that, their stretch of four tough matches. They get the, a Diamond State, their second Diamond State, or uh, third. Diamond State uh, match up. They're one and one in the conference. I give First State a couple years and they'll be, they'll be good. They'll be knocking some heads. There's a kill for Padua. That's number four, Jackie Campanelli, five two. Pandas. The Pandas, by the way, we mentioned Saturday they play at Paul the Six, and then on Tuesday next week they're at the St. East Center. They go on the road for one, two, three, four, five in a row. And they have DMA Tattnall and Ursuline after that. So, not an easy stretch for Padua. They have a tough one every night, it seems like. So does Charter. McCormick plays that. We're going up in the middle of the Matheny. She taps, finds the floor, 5-3.
The Charter fans not giving up just yet. No, and definitely not, Mike. Like I said, this team will fight you tooth and nail. And uh, they're with uh, their leader, Matheny. They're a dangerous team here. And she's on serve. Molin plays it. Cross court set. Blocked by, no, it's into the net. Four hits. So it's going to be four hits. 5-4. Charter on the way back. Yeah, and they got the, the server, Matheny. All right, so uh, sends it deep. Going at Mullen again. I think must think Jess Mullen can't play that. She's going to kill it this time, and she can do that pretty darn well. So Mullen gets her revenge. Comes up to the front, smacks out when Ham takes the seat. Mullen's going to serve Pritchard back in at the libero spot. Audrey Lyons also in. They go at number 12. Gabby Shannon, Padua gets the point, 7-4. to four. Yeah, serve, uh, that hit was just wide, according to the official. Let's see where they go with this one. If they go back at Gabby Shannon. Area right at her, Jason. She bumps it up, though. Matheny gets it to Bialecki. Pritchard plays it. Cross court set. Palapes dug by McCormick. It's a free ball. That's going to be way wide. And it's eight to four. Padua. Jason, I'm impressed with the Pandas so far. Yeah. Yep. They've. And we we said we thought they would take bumps early in the season. And we were uh, we were wrong. We, we? Were, we were wrong. So uh, there's a set of servers there. They did lose a set to friends. And um, and they lost a set to St. Mark's. St. Mark's. So I don't know if anybody was expecting Powder to roll through this uh, no, I mean, 45 sets this season. And like you said, the, the girls have some experience, but it was five new starters in Jess Mullen. So I, I, we thought it would take them some time to gel, but it has not so far. And uh, you got to give credit to the coaching staff and the players for all their hard work. They're in this gym all summer, and, uh, or at least part of the summer. There's a kill for Palape on the tap. And it is, it's not easy playing in this gym. In no, the summertime, it is it's hot, and there's two, there's two temperatures, hot and blazing hot. Yeah, Tuesday was blazing hot. I think it was 250 degrees in here. Uh, I sweat it through one shirt because I didn't bring any other, but uh, it's a lot better in here uh, today. By Alecki off the wall, saved by the Pandas. Back set. And Barnett can't get it to go. It's going to be by Alecki tapping this time, but Lyons gets to it. Back set for back kill for Molin, off the off McCormick. She tips it straight up. It hits those rafters and comes straight down. Those darn rafters keep on getting in the lay. Point pandas. But uh, that's part of the part of the uh, court. So. Home court advantage. Yep. We'll be seeing that tomorrow. At I will at least at Tower Hill. They play Ursuline in that little gymnasium. And I imagine some balls will be going off a lot of uh, beams and basketball rims and everything else. Yes. Palape smash. Charter saves. Oh, but a little miscommunication between Matheny and, and uh, Shannon. And that ball falls between the two of them. It's 11 to 5. We talked to Coach Stover before the match, and he said they had, uh, he mentioned their last match, they had 20 service errors, and he said we can't have that again. And uh, that has been the problem tonight. That's going to be wide. Make it 12 5. But the service errors, a lot were in the first set. Uh, since then, there's been some miscommunications. And some just some hitting wide and stuff. I don't say Charters, they're not playing poorly at all. No, they're they're not. And, uh, but just little things here and there just right. adding up. And, and then when you're playing a team like Padua, it, it, they add up even more. By Alecki blocks. You can see that it falls in. I mean, Kaziki and Barnett are just, they're throwing up the brick wall up front. Yeah, and that's what they do. Uh, they did it well against St. Mark's the other night. Um. Uh, Siemens and the Spartans had a, a tough time going around the, the blocking of the Pandas. Here's McCormick. She goes deep. They keep going to Mullen. She keeps playing it. Palape is going to get this one. And she finds a hole. And it is dug into the charter student section. 13 to 6 Pandas. Um, I, first time I've had a chance to see the paddle outside of play day. Yeah. I saw them in a couple of play days. I, I and, saw them uh, at wow, St. Mark's. Very impressive. Yeah, I saw them against St. Mark's here Tuesday. and uh, they, They're a lot better than they were when I saw them in the play day. They've really gelled, and, and they're playing really well right now. And uh, it's important because that 
We said they we did, thought them and Charter had the two toughest schedules out of the gate here early. How about Kaziki? Wow, another block for Michelle Kaziki. And we have a timeout with the score of 14 to 6 Charter. Take a quick break and we'll come back right after these messages. And a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think the Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think the Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. And we are back uh, while we got a second. I mean a second here, Jason. Everybody should join us on Wednesday nights at 8 for the 302 Sports Weekly. Uh, we've got plays of the week, and we have athletes of the week, and lots of lively discussion. Yeah, and we're going to have a big announcement on a possible new home for our show on Wednesday nights. So stay tuned to social media pages as uh, we look to uh, make that big announcement. Yeah, I don't want to uh, let any cats out of the bag. That's not my job, but we have uh, – uh, we're real excited about our future, and, uh, and and we have a great time on Wednesday nights. Unfortunately, I won't be there next Wednesday. I'll have to tune in on 302. Oh, an overset. Misplayed there, just a missed time jump for Charter. And it's 16-6, to 6 and uh, they're, they're pulling away again. Yeah, Pat was, Pat was playing real well uh, tonight, and it, it's been a great team effort so far. I would uh, venture to say, as Palape, well, a nice stop there by Bialecki. And up for Waltz. Pancake there by Pritchard. Nice play by Pritchard to save that. Cross court to Bialecki. Off the wall, Palape saves. Back set to Campanelli. It's just wide. Uh, I, I would venture to say, Jason, that Charter's not going to play like this more than one match of the entire season. No, and uh, like we said, they, they had the one loss to Archmer coming in. Uh, they played well in that one. Archmer's defense was just incredible in their service game. And uh, But uh, this one, uh, the first set, uh, great first set. Charter came back, but the last couple sets, uh, Paddle has just been on the roll. Paddle's done a great job tonight bottling up uh, Maddie Matheny. She's an all-stater, not just all-state. She's player of the year material. Here's Waltz, another very good player. She gets the kill. Jason, I mentioned I was at Friends before I came over here today. Let me tell you something about Danny Nathan. That girl can hit. Yeah. I'm talking all state and player of the year. Keep an eye on If you have not seen Danielle Nathan, you're running out of time. She's a senior. An outstanding player. And there's another service error. 17-8. Danny was, uh, she was doing her job today, uh, keeping Friends in that one against Archmere. They, Friends played a heck of a game today against the Hawks. Yeah, take, take it the four sets, so. She's not alone, but she no. is, uh, she's the straw that stirs that drink. And that's a team that, that will come together towards the end of the year, and I, I would not want to play them as it gets later in the season. Wow, what a crush from Jess Mullen. She goes left side, and that is not returnable. So the Pandas seven points away from wrapping this up in straight sets, and a lot of us thought we'd see five sets tonight. Yeah, I saw it all on Twitter this you afternoon. You never know. And, uh, it's still uh, early, but Charter just needs to find their offense here. They've had every answer tonight for Charter. And there's another kill for the Pandas. A kick save and a beauty there by Mike Lang. Did you like that one? That's my second play tonight. I did take one off the coconut in pregame. And that was uh, that hurt a little bit. You Roman check modding it. Yeah. You know, he got to play goal a little bit. Yep. Kaziki's kill won't go. Here's Matheny off the wall. Try it again. Did I say Matheny? There's Matheny through the wall this time. Nineteen to nine. Don't bury them yet. No, we saw uh, that run at the end of the first set. 
Where they scored, uh, saved, what, seven match points, I believe? Seven, seven set points, that's right. Seven set points, not match. Here's Mullen off the antenna. 19-10. And Kenny Swanson joined us on the preseason show this year. Pritchard saves that one, bumped up, and that's long. 19-11. And here comes the force, Mike, in the low momentum. Their student section. And super fan. <laughs> yep, urging them on. They know this isn't over yet. There's a little misplay on the serve. We'll call it an ace for Kenny Swanson, 19 to 12. Three points in a row for the force. The lefty. Good serve. Bumped for Mullen. Blocked. Defense coming alive. Campanelli goes cross court. What a dig by Swanson. Matheny gets it back toward Katie Ham. Mullen goes cross court. Nice play by Jess Mullen. I'll get this one. Yeah, she picks her spots really well there, Mike. That time, like you called it, she went cross court, hit it in, in inbounds, and uh, gets a paddle on a point, make it 20 to 12. Sarah Pritchard. With the serve, wow, it was a kind of a deceiving serve. Matheny with a back line attempt. It is Doug, and that is Campanelli. Can't get it to go. Nice play there by the force to save. Matheny off the wall. Short set, but that's long from subject. Point. Charter. Yeah, nice try by uh, her. Just hit a subject check. Let's hit it a little long there. And 20 to 13 here in the third set as the Panthers are trying to close this out in three, and the Force are trying to force a fourth set. Madeline Austria in the serve. They trail by seven. They need this one to force set number four. That's an ace for Austria, 20 to 14. Great serve there, Mike. She finds the back line for the ace, and uh, here, here, here comes the charter faithful. <laughs> I, They're awesome. That guy is unbelievable. They are great. Just one of my favorite places to watch any sporting event. Pushed over by Campanelli. That is long off the hands of Shannon. 21-13. I know, Jason, we've, we've been to just about every gym you can imagine, at least in Newcastle County, and there are a few that match the intensity of uh, Charter School of Wilmington. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Here come the Seahawks. Yeah. Now we have a violation, Point Padua. So they take a kill away from Audrey, or from Katie Ham, but they'll give them the point on the error, on the violation rather, it's 22-14. Jason, we've had two sets end with uh, with uh, hitting errors. I want to set the end with, uh, with an offensive play. I hear you. Bumped up, Matheny just taps that one over. When you got two great defenses, that tends to happen. All blocked by Shannon, Point as a lift is called on Padua. So give the point to Wilmington Charter. The force. The force. Coming back. I have seen a couple force sports. I've seen force soccer and field hockey. And now the volleyball team. Third time seeing the volleyball team for me. And uh, I enjoy watching them play. They're a really good team, talented team. Oh, it's a service winner. 22-16, they've climbed back into this one. Yeah, at one time they were down 11 points, now they're down just six here. They're making the, the late run again, the late push. Morgan Seferati with the serve. 
They're gonna go to Palape. Oh, nice dig by Matheny. But Paddle able to get one of their own from Pritchard. Barnett is blocked. Here's the set from Matheny. She goes right. I believe it's on the tape. It is. No, they're calling it. That is a point for Charter. I'm sorry, 22-17. Timeout, Pandas. And we'll take a quick break and come back right after these messages. Began his career in home finance in 2002 as a mortgage consultant. Since 2002, Brian has helped over 1,000 home buyers achieve their dreams of owning a home. Brian's knowledge of current market conditions and his detailed evaluation of buyers' finances ensures that each buyer will receive the best mortgage to fit their needs. Brian is often commended on how efficient and effortless he makes the mortgage process for everyone from first time home buyers to investors to experienced buyers. For the loan that fits you, contact Brian. Today. I love helping our airmen and their families with financial tools to help provide financial stability. I promise to make a positive difference in your financial life, from helping you to lower your payments to discovering ways to help you save for your children's future. From the needs of college students and first-time auto buyers, I promise to identify and take ownership of your needs. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. And back on Broom Street, upstairs, at Paddle Academy, the gym with no windows, Jason, and no uh, circulation. 22, 17, all oh, a service error by Charter. Gives Paddle with its 23rd point. That was right at Coach B. Sabatino. She made the kick save. And a beauty. Subject will serve, trying to serve this one out. By Alecki is dug, or blocked rather, falls out of bounds, and it's match point Padua. Here's Subject trying to wrap it up. Swanson to Matheny, she taps it over. And played into the net, that will not do it. Match point number one, saved. Mallory McCormick back to serve. She's got Mullen on the back line. She's been going at her all night. Played by Barnett, can't get it to go. Over, overpass, oh, Charter's trying to save, they do. A free ball over, chance for Paddle to wrap it up here. Set to Kaziki. And it's over. Michelle Kaziki with the kill. Paddle wins 25-18. They take this one three sets to nothing. Jason, I thought it was an outstanding effort by the Pandas. Yeah, they played really well in both uh, to sweep the charter force here. Uh, incredible match. They played really well. And uh, we are going to see if we can get a, pat, a pat, Panda to come over and talk to us uh, about the match. The great effort. But uh, a great win for the Pandas as they prove to Four and O now on the year, as they uh, came on strong here uh, in this one. So uh, they came on strong. Great effort here by both teams, and uh, Padua uh, takes the win. They go to four and O, um, and uh, Charter drops their second match of the year. But they played really well in this one, uh, and they've. Like Mike said, they got first state military academy in a, a conference game uh, coming up, and uh, a really uh, great team win here for Pandas, Mike. So Jess Mullen's coming. I was told that uh, I tried to get her before the team took her out, but we're gonna we'll give her a minute or two, and then we'll we'll see what we have to do. We got to do. We got to do. But Jason, uh, great. I don't know what you're talking about because obviously I was running down the, the court there, but Padua, outstanding effort tonight. Yeah, great team effort. Uh, like I said, they really well played game for them. They, they stay undefeated on the year, 4-0. Um, and, uh, and Charter, like I said, they'll bounce back. They got First State Military Academy, a, a Diamond State game. Uh, I know record-wise they're 2-2, two two, but that was a tough four-match stretch, Mike, where they played Tower Hill, um, Archmere, DMA and now Padua uh, to go two and two in that stretch. I would take it. I don't know if, if Coach Dover would take it or not, but to me, that's that's a good stretch to go that way against the teams. Uh, 
State. Paddle plays a very tough schedule as well. They get to go to Virginia on Saturday for the annual matchup with Paul the Sixth. And then on uh, Tuesday, they are here. I know they're on the road against St. Elizabeth. Uh, so Charter gets to play First State Military Academy. And they, that is a team that is uh, still finding its way uh, in the Diamond State as we are trying to get Jess Mullen. We'll give her one more minute. And then we'll have to probably just wrap things up here. But. So anyway, today also we mentioned Archmere over Friends. Archmere over Friends. Uh, DMA over Tattle. DMA over Tattle. And there was, uh, oh, Apo was playing uh, Caravelle tonight. Let's see if we can get some scores while we're waiting. We also had Delmar, Cape Henlope, and Field Hockey. So let's see if uh, anything is. Yeah, that was a uh, pair of number ones, Delmar number one in Division Two, going against number one in Division One, Cape Henlope. And um, great effort there by, uh, you know, but, Cape Henlopen had that unbelievable run. Last year, Delmar finally was able to get by and, and beat the, the Vikings and uh, looking for two in a row at Cape, but it was not going to be easy. So if we get a score update on that, we're going to We do have a uh, volleyball final. Indian River, three. Seaford, uh, no score. Dover, three. Sussex Central, no score, or zero. Uh, volleyball final. Here's a big win for Cape Henlopen, three to nothing over Sussex Tech. So some big wins there. Field, final in field hockey, Delmar three, Cape Henlopen uh, zero. Their so. 30th straight win. Yep. And uh, some big uh, big match down there in, in Sussex County. Josie Holloman with a goal for uh, for Delmar. Cape had a goal disallowed, but it's still three to nothing. Uh, we just want to say, here she comes. Here comes Jess Mullen. Thanks everybody for your patience tonight as we went through some YouTube problems. Jessica Mullen with us. Uh, Jessica turn.